Let me hoist this box up here and welcome you back to L'Amour La Musique and to my review of the May Beauty Heroes box featuring bathing culture. This month there was a slight shipping delay just based on some supply chain issues because of the pandemic. The pump dispensers for the soap were getting a little bit held up, but I believe at the time you're seeing this now that boxes have shipped and if they haven't and you haven't yet received it, you will soon. Like I said, this box is very weighty. I think it's actually, Jeannie told me, the heaviest box that they have sent out as a subscription to date. Bathing Culture is a Northern California soap body care brand. We're gonna get into my experience because I've been using the mind and body wash for the better part of a year. But the Hero product is this glass jar pump dispenser of the mind and body wash. So it's 16 fluid ounces. It obviously is refillable in this glass and it retails for $35. And then the two sidekicks are the Bathing Culture Outer Being Face and Body Oil in Cathedral Grove. It's the same scent. This is eight fluid ounces and this retails for 72. And then this is the Golden Hour Hydrosol. It's neroli and rose scented, three fluid ounces and it retails for $20. So the total value of this month's box is $127. Just to get the logistics out of the way before we start talking about the products themselves, if you'd like to sign up to become a Beauty Heroes member, it is a monthly subscription. You can go month to month, or you can sign up for three, six, and 12 month subscriptions. The longer you sign up for at once, the lower the cost each monthly box turns out to be. And I do have to let you know, even though this is technically a deal for podcast listeners. If you go and check out episode 21, but all episodes through May have this information in them on my podcast, Your Purpose is Beauty, there is a discount code that can get you 10% off a new Beauty Hero subscription of any quantity or 10% off your order in the Beauty Heroes store if you aren't already a Beauty Heroes member. Because if you decide to sign up and subscribe to the boxes, you then automatically get 15% off every time you shop in the store. They've never offered a discount on the subscriptions, so this is the first time they're doing it. I'll have the information down below where you can go get that. And it is technically, like I said, for my podcast listeners, so I hope you'll go check that out. I had a really amazing conversation with Jeannie about Beauty Heroes in the time of COVID and she's just such an inspirational person and I was really, really happy to have her on the podcast. So if you don't have a favorite podcast player, you can go stream it on lamorialamusic.com. All the information too about the code to apply to a new subscription is in the show notes on the website. So it's very read readily available for you. I think that's it for announcements. Should we just start talking about these products? So right away, the bottles are really beautiful. The branded rainbow on the bottles are like the design of bathing culture. The branded rainbows on the bottles are hand painted by San Francisco based Aesthetic Union using a 1970s letterpress machine. So it's really a very California Bay Area company through and through. It's a pretty young company. I think they started a couple of years ago. It's founded by two men, Tim Hollinger and Spencer Arnold. They endeavor to be a social impact business really squarely in line with the blue beauty ethos that um, Beauty Heroes has really been moving in the direction towards over the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. This is formulated with Organic and Rainforest Alliance certified saponified coconut, olive, and sunflower oils, plant glycerin from soybean, and creamy shea butter. So it has this very woodsy unisex type of smell, which comes from balsam, vetiver, and ylang ylang, as well as hoewood and frankincense. It's really the same scent that carries through into the oil. Now, like I said, I have been using the Mind and Body Wash for a while, but the two other products, the Body Oil and the Mist, were brand new to me. This was crafted to complement the Mind and Body Wash, extending the bathing ritual, offering added protection against harsh conditions, whether you're in an urban environment or out in nature. It's meant to be reparative, restoring the skin with vitamins, essential fatty acids, and antioxidants. It's it's a blend of sea buckthorn, one of my favorite oils, marula, jojoba, and coconut MCT. It also has Abyssinian oil, which right away kind of drew me in. The texture of this is very, very silky. So it comes in a pump like so. I don't, I'm kind of afraid it's gonna squirt out everywhere. It's a very, very silky, 
lightweight, pretty easily absorbed, gorgeous oil right away, first use. I was impressed with it. Now the Golden Hour Hydrosol, very simple product. It's Bulgarian rose oil, hand harvested Moroccan neroli flower oil, Moroccan rose oil, and Turkish ro rose oil all in distilled water. This product was inspired by one of the founder's childhood hobbies of making neroli effleurage with his mother. I've heard of that technique before, but I don't know exactly what it entails. Moroccan neroli and rose mingle in this refreshing moisture sealing mist. Again, I kind of tore into this right away really liked it it's extremely refreshing it's extremely lightweight it's just sort of a true toner through and through it's not a complicated essence it kind of goes with everything in my own routine and you know I try so many products so I have to say at the outset I was kind of I don't know I wasn't necessarily expecting to be head over heels about this box because in some ways you know it's soap it's relatively utilitarian and in my conversation with Jeannie I said had you guys was this a last minute thing where you know in light of COVID and people being really obsessed with germs and wanting to wash hands all the time like did you plan it this way and she said no it just happened to fall this was the box we were going to do this month kind of divine timing in a way this is elevated so much by being in this glass bottle so you could easily keep this in the shower i have actually been keeping ours in the powder room in our downstairs bathroom that we use really regularly even cave was like that soap is really nice now cave is sort of my de facto tester um, and if i put something like this out he's obviously going to use it now you need a very small amount if you want to use it to wash hands he <laughs> actually the other day he was like i think i finally figured out the perfect amount to microdose <laughs> myself or like the perfect minuscule amount to wash my hands with because it's very concentrated this is going to last you a very long time so as a hand soap it's beautiful the scent lingers but in the most beautiful natural way i didn't think the experience would be so elevated in a glass bottle with a pump from the original packaging but it truly is so if you're someone that cares about this and the experience of beauty i i'm happy every time i wash my hands with this as you can see i've almost gone through a full bottle of the body wash that has been sitting in my shower i probably would have used it up a long time ago if i wasn't always rotating with so many different things it lathers up really beautifully i think the formula is just really really nice especially because as a body wash that's a very hard category in eco beauty I've tried so many and so many fall short so especially if you're sharing shower products with a partner who's more used to conventional products this is such a good product to have because it's going to perform very similarly to a more conventional product and like I said the scent is really very unisex it's just woodsy um and i love those kind of balsam and vetiver type of smells reminds me maybe a bit if you've tried it's one of the hope gillerman blends in the purple i'm not sure which one that is but it's i think it's like the stress relief one maybe kind of reminds me of that but very essential oil forward very much a departure from a lot of other things you're gonna smell in products in eco beauty my experience with the oil was like from the first use i was like wow this is just really nice and i think so many body oils similar to body washes or just body care products in general circulate in the same scent profiles and they're just i just really never found anything that's like this now i can't get kave to use a body oil he's still a very dedicated body cream user in fact he used almost the entire bottle of the free and true body profit he absolutely loves that if you're looking for a non-oil body product for a partner that's a really good one this is just blissful i'm very effusive this box is i said on instagram a 10 out of 10 for me which makes me feel really good because last month was a bit of a miss the mukti box and it's not that i don't like that brand it's just the products were not meant for my skin type and i've set them aside to probably give away there are other products from mukti i like a lot but i feel like this box is just really really universal like who can't use soap most people can use a body oil and if you have any sort of skin skincare routine going you'll be able to use this i mean i feel like i've already i've been using this for like a week and i feel like i've already been making quite a dent really beautiful as a skin refresh through the day mild but refreshing it's almost like the next step up from something like an evan healy 
toning water or whatever I forget what those are called but it's kind of reminiscent of that but it feels a little more luxe than some of the Evan Healy toners I mean what else can I tell you I'm just I'm a big fan of this box and the idea behind this is that when the Beauty Hero store reopens you'll be able if you're in the area to take your bottle and refill it at the Beauty Hero store and I'll link you below to a little video that Beauty Heroes published on their YouTube channel between Jeannie and the two founders of Bathing Culture and they have a vision where all around the country I don't know if they're going to work with you know in situ brick and mortar eco beauty boutiques in different cities around the world but ideally they would like to have stations all across the country where you can refill your Bathing Culture bottle so I would like to get another one of these actually like I, I'm trying to decide where I want this to permanently live like maybe the powder room maybe in the kitchen maybe I'll get another one for the shower I haven't decided but I am a huge convert to the glass bottle with the pump I have been on such a big reusable kick um really I guess since late fall that's like another whole video I want to do and this would actually figure into it because I went on kind of a bender and I bought a bunch of Marley's Monsters reusable things I bought some stasher bags a bunch of reusable jars to reorganize my pantry and it's actually very good timing that this came through because I have an 18 month old and I'm constantly cleaning I go through so many plastic bottles of cleaner like all-purpose cleaner i'm currently using the puracy brand i just go through so many bottles i go through so many bottles of dish soap i rotate different kinds i go through so many bottles of counter spray and i've really been wanting to find different reusable refillable options not the point of this video but i'm going to be exploring branch basics which just came out with glass bottle refillable cleaner options so this to me is so in line i would like to have several of these throughout my house and just keep refilling them because the product is gorgeous the experience is gorgeous i didn't really think i could be so excited about soap um it came packaged very snugly um in this sleeve so you know i know the brand ambassadors were asked if we had any problems with shipping and breakage and i think they have been concerned that it'll transport well but mine was perfectly packaged the pump comes separate it comes with a twist off lid and you just put the pump in pump it out starts working right away I kind of just want to keep telling you how much I love these products, but I think you can probably tell at this point. So if you're looking for a time to resubscribe, I love this box. I mean, what can I say? It really is a 10 out of 10 for me. The products are very useful in addition to being just really lovely. Pretty simple review this month. Um, the products are straightforward, gorgeous, good for the whole family, and they just seem like a great company to support. Beauty Heroes, of course, is just a company that's very near and dear to my heart, so I've placed orders of my own accord throughout the time that they've been closed just to keep supporting them. Um, I really want to do an upcoming either video or IGTV telling you my most repurchased items from the Beauty Heroes store because I get to try so many things I do receive a lot as a brand ambassador but I go on to re-up my favorite things all the time so I place beauty heroes orders every couple of months um, I buy things for the baby for the family for myself that I've really liked so I'd love to put that together for you I know people are always looking for new ideas and then I have like a small beauty heroes wish list actually I could close out this video by telling you that I actually recently from Beauty Heroes picked up the Aether Beauty Joshua Tree palette. I tested this for the first time on one of my Get Ready With Me live streams on Patreon. I swatched the whole thing and I'm obsessed. I'm going to keep playing with it all month over on Patreon. So if you want to come hang out there and see this in action, just patreon.com slash La Musique. That's at the live stream level, which also gets you everything underneath. Extra video, extra podcast, lots of extra work that I do over there. So I hope you'll decide to maybe come check it out. I'll look forward to seeing you soon. Um, I'll try and get the Beauty Heroes most repurchased up. I have a product crit video coming up. I first did that series on podcast. I think it's episode two or three on Your Purpose is Beauty. So if you want to know what product crit is, you can go listen to the podcast. I'm going to do it as a video. Towards the end of the month, I will be doing a brand review skincare routine demo of 
one of my favorite brands. If you have any guesses, feel free. It's not in Fiore. I know everyone wants to guess that and I've already done a, quite a bit of in Fiore content, but one of my top, top brands and there's going to be a special gift with purchase deal coming up at the end of May, beginning of June. My birthday is June 1. So I don't know, just kind of a way for me to share my birthday love with you and get to try some things from this brand if you're so inclined. So stay tuned, subscribe to La More La Musique so you don't miss any of this. Come say hi on Patreon, come say hi on Instagram, at La More La Musique, come listen to Your Purpose is Beauty. So much going on. I hope you're all doing well during these really crazy, unprecedented times. I'm sending you all love and we'll talk soon. Bye.